Hey everybody, it's time for Street Fighter Training with Steel. And in this video series, uh, what I wanted to do was uh, record and analyze my matches as a retrospective for myself and also to newer comers of the genre, uh, or Street Fighter in particular. Uh, in this first match, uh, I get to play against a uh, lower battle point cami. Uh, I'm going with Goken, by the way. I feel like he's got uh, good fireball games, good mind games. Uh, good frame traps, pretty easy frame traps actually. <laughs> so that's why I'm going with him. He's basically like a guile with uh, pretty strong punishes. Uh, and so uh, in this match, I can see that Cami has selected Ultra 2, so I do keep that in mind. Uh, first, what I do is I usually start off just feeling them out just a little bit, keeping them spaced out with fireballs. And I'm looking for that, uh, that right there, the uh, cannon drill uh, at a certain range and trying to punish accordingly. I missed a, a little sweep there, and my throw teching is ass, so... Uh, but it's safe to throw fireballs at Kami at that range, uh, she doesn't really have much. As you can see there, uh, I failed a couple of times. But uh, More fireballs, uh, anti-airing, uh, countering her jumping attempts. And uh, like I said, Ultra 2, you gotta always watch out for that one, so... Uh, it doesn't lend to Kami too well, she's got a good reversal, so it, re you know, it makes me not want to uh, stick anything out anyway because uh, I know she's safe on that and again looking for that uh, spiral arrow uh, spacing uh, punish accordingly uh, throughout plenty of uh, fireballs you know hit her hard and I knew she was gonna go for this right there because I saw her try to do it twice and this is how you fail at Street Fighter when you you miss one move and uh, you lose half of your life here <laughs> and like I said my throw teching is ass uh, especially with Goken, he's got a strange, uh, he's got a slow uh, crouching short, and so I lose half my life here, uh, and it continues. And so I, I go ahead and uh, get back to my game, uh, spacing her out with fireballs, and there he goes, it's over. Uh, she couldn't do anything about that except for EX uh, cannon spike or spinning knuckle. In this next match, uh, I'm fighting against a Cody. This is a pretty decently high level Cody. Uh, he's got a lot of battle points, his player points is fair, and I was expecting uh, plenty of good play out of this guy, and nothing less. And uh, Cody, Cody doesn't have as, as good of reversals as Cammy does, so I, I didn't care about getting up close to him on his wake up, not, not too concerned about it. Uh, I was facing him outside of his Zonk Punch range, uh, because uh, I was afraid he was going to Zonk Punch, but never did he once. Uh, he's a good punisher, he knows what he's looking for, um, you know, and this fireball war here, you know, it's very prevalent that I want it, and so he didn't want to play it anymore, uh, so he decided to come in. Uh, I failed uh, the anti-air right there. Uh, I missed my throw, <laughs> but he misses a punish there, but I see him focus, dash, forward, and throw, and so I keep that in mind. Uh, I see it once, uh, it hasn't implemented itself into me yet. But I did see it. He traps me in the corner, and he's prepared to uh, anti-air, as you can see there. <clears throat> so in this next match, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and stay out of his way a little bit more, more focused on fireballs. That's no, that, that is where I win. I know I win in that section. Um, Goken's got a really fast fireball. I didn't know that was going to hit, so I went into crouching jabs. And uh, I wanted to get rid of that super meter uh, and try to do as much damage as I could. Uh, I probably could have punished that Zonk Knuckle a little bit better. Here we go. And I'm trying to get a little bit more distance in between us again because uh, that Fireball War is crucial to Goken's game plan. I was looking for maybe like an anti-air or something like that, but he hits me low. There we go, a uh, dash forward throw again, I see that, and uh, a jumping jab into a throw, which is rare for me to see. There we go, I saw it again, and I actually blocked it that time, he uses EX, and there we go, that's, that's how I lost that one, pushing buttons on wake up. Uh, he had a counter hit set up that was perfect, and I should have known not to push anything, 
but I did anyway. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I gotta stop doing that. <clears throat> and here's a match with Guile. This is a uh, decently high battle points uh, and uh, uh, fair player points, uh, Guile. And I'm very confident in this match because uh, I feel like Oaken does win the war, uh, the fireball war. And, uh, you know, trades against his Sonic Booms are kind of nothing to me. I don't, I honestly don't mind. I'm just kind of feeling him out right now. He's uh, slowly starting to get the idea that he can't win the fireball war and that he's got to approach me. And so I'm happy with that. I'm happy playing that role. Anti-airing him as he jumps in. Uh... Also testing his limits of uh, getting in that range again, as you can see, where if uh, I anti-aired him, uh, I would win, or we would trade, and I would win the trade, and keeping him in the corner. Uh, I was going to go for that uh, rush punch there, because I, I figured he was going to start trying to focus through my fireballs. As you can see there, every time he jumps in, he does a crouching uh, hard kick. Uh, keep that in mind for later. <coughs> He flash kicks me, we get separated out again. Uh, for some reason why, he wants to create the distance now. Uh, so, that's fine with me. I got life lead, I got better fireballs. I see that jumping hard kick, crouching hard kick again. And that's why I focus this time. Uh, he actually did a crouching fierce. I don't know if that was a missed input on his end, but uh, uh, it worked out to my advantage regardless. Uh, I threw an EX one out just in case he decided to jump. And now he's getting into a range in which he could punish my fireballs with a back fist. Uh, and he got kind of antsy there, and I get a lot of damage. I can rush in a little bit. Oh, uh, I missed an anti air there. And he, ma he mashes out that, that flash kick. And there he goes again. He's getting kind of desperate. And I got an EX uh, demon flip. Oh man, now, I, mi I missed that combo, so I'm kind of shaking up right now, I'm kind of unconfident, and uh, he knocks me back just a little bit more, and I'm getting kind of nervous here, so I try not to go for anything too crazy, I really want to secure that win, and he jumps, uh, that fireball before he jumped was close enough to him that he, he had to do something about the next fireball coming, so he decided to jump, which was what I was expecting, and uh, good games, guy. <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'll be putting up some more. And that was... Street Fighter Training with Steel. Thanks a lot, Steel. <laughs>